Hey, what's up YouTube? And today I'm going to show you how you can save and load Minecraft schematics. Now, schematics, um, they can be houses, castles, anything that you see on this page, you can come to this link, it's in the description. And I will do this Essentials Chess Shop, Spawn Shop here. So you can Google any schematic and find them. I just like this website here. If you click download and click download again, you'll be have you'll have to have an account. I'm already logged in as Numero Uno, but it's real quick. Or you can go to a different website and use their schematics. This one is really good. So um, you'll need World Edit, by the way. If you don't have World Edit, just drop it in your plugins folder and you'll see that and restart it and you'll see that the it's there so once you got your world edit folder go to schematics and drop your schematic in there and rename, remember the name too so now once you got your schematic in the schematics folder in world edit go and restart your server and I'll see you on minecraft so now that you're on minecraft Find a good and open spot because I'll show you how to load a schematic. As you can see here that uh, I loaded that China house schematic and it kind of ran into things because it was so huge but besides that it's pretty awesome. So just find an open spot in the area where things will tend to not be run into like that China house there. So this spot is good. I'll come down here. All right. Go ahead and type slash slash schematic. Load MCE and then the name. Essentials. F. I forgot the name. Hold on. Let me. God. I have bad memory. But just go in the words edit schematics and you'll find it here. Okay, just shop and hit enter. So now all you have to do is type slash slash paste, hit enter. Now you'll see that it might take a while to load depending on how big your schematic is. Just wait for that. My computer is really slow. So I lagged out of my server. And all you have to do when you lag out your server, there it is. So, if you tend to lag out your server like I did, just stop it and restart it and it'll be there. As you can see, it's huge and it ran into things. But it's up in the air, so we don't want that. So, we're going to find a point that we can select the whole region. This point is fine because it's on the outermost corner and it's at the bottom. So now we're going to fly to the top and select our second corner. It's an invisible corner. It's not actually there. So we want to create a corner so that we can select everything. So if we come down here and start building up, we'll be able to select the whole region. And if this happens to you guys, you can just do the same technique that I'm doing. But some schematics will end up being loaded perfectly where you want it unlike this one so select your second point and now you can go ahead and destroy this because we already got our point selected okay so now we're gonna fly back to the front where we selected our first point at and we are going to go there and line ourselves up with that point we're going to line ourselves so that we are in front of it and we are facing that block there as if we are standing on an invisible block right now we're trying to face and line it up so type slash slash copy or slash slash cut I'm sorry 
and the blocks have been cut. Of course, like me, my computer will lag. So I had to come back on here and then do it again. Alrighty, you see that I left out some portion, but that's okay. It's not important. What's important is getting this to the ground. So type in slash slash paste. Of course, it'll, it'll take a little while, depending on how big your schematic is. Alright, so finally, here it is. Just, it's perfectly on the ground, just how I wanted it. And there's no wall there, but I can fix that. What's important is that I got the chest shop just how I wanted it. I've got it here. So that's basically how you load a schematic. Now I'm going to show you how to save a schematic. Um, so let me find something I want to save. Alright, so I'm going to use this house. Unfortunately, it was invaded by the China house. Some of its space. And I'm using this because it is not a perfect square. And I doubt most of you guys will have objects that are perfect squares. So I'm going to select my first corner. I have to line it up so I get everything. And I hit the ground. And I'm going to fly to the invisible second corner. It's not actually there. We're going to have to build it up like we did last time. And line it up to the height of the house so that we can select everything. Alright, select it. And now we can delete it. Remove it. Because we don't want it in our schematic when we save it. We just use it to select the whole house. So type slash slash copy. And now slash slash schematic. Save MCE. And then name it something. For me, wooden house is what I'm going to call it. Alright, so that is how you save a schematic. And load a schematic. I hope you guys like this tutorial that I made. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Alright, see you guys later.